delivering the laws of the United States of America at USDA, and we're going to deliver them uh, as close to the, to the legal interpretation as we can. Uh, often members of Congress uh, put in uh, these, these new laws, and they say, this is what we want to do, this is public policy, and then they start getting complaints. And then, you know, it affects somebody, people come into their office, they knock on the door and say, why are you doing this, it's wrong. And then they try to figure out ways to get out from underneath the laws that they pass. Uh, sometimes they give us um, manager's notes that say, in spite of what we just put in the law, you know, why don't you use USDA regulations to change things? Uh, it allows them to say a different thing to two different sets of constituents, and USDA ends up taking the brunt of it as we, you know, we didn't understand, or we interpreted it improperly, or we didn't deliver right. And really, it's Congress that is trying to slip the bounds of responsibility uh, by saying, well, this is the statute we passed, but oh, by the way, maybe we should deliver it differently. USDA is squeezed often by the demands of Congress to say, you better implement that regulation to the extent of the law. But then if they're getting some heat on that particular law, then they come back to us and say, well, maybe through regulation you can interpret this, you know, to move away from the intent of the law. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a never-ending battle with Congress. I, I get disappointed in their uh, willingness to kind of maneuver around the laws that they make and blame it on USDA. But, you know, we're going to deliver these programs to um, the language that's written in the laws that are passed by Congress and signed by the President as best we can. Delivery.